One of the many almost forgotten sagas in the history of the Royal Academy, and indeed in the history of London in general, in arts terms in the 20th century, is the fact that there was a major exhibition, in fact the largest exhibition ever staged of Brazilian art, and the first in the UK, put on at the Royal Academy. There's two interesting contexts for me about how the exhibition came about. One is the military history of the Second World War. Brazil enters on the side of Britain and the Allies and 25,000 troops go and fight in, in Italy. But I also love the fact that artists, Brazilian artists, wanted to get involved in the war effort by producing an exhibition to sell work to make a symbolic and monetary gesture to, to the war effort. I can't imagine how this exhibition ever happened. It seems a complete miracle. Britain was still at war. Obviously one of the reasons for the show was that Brazil, as it were, wanted to make a, a cultural gesture as well as a, you know, an, an incredibly valuable one in terms of sending men to the front. The artworks travelled by ship. and We can imagine how dangerous this was when German submarines sinking many Brazilian merchant ships left, right and centre. The paintings arrived here and they still had not got a venue when they arrived. Tate had just been bombed. The National Gallery was closed for most of the time. Uh, the cultural life of the nation was under threat. The exhibition was staged, slightly reluctantly by the Royal Academy, in three of the great fine rooms. And it turned into a raging success. It was deemed to be a success partly because of the number of people who came. Also because of the number of works that sold. 80 sold, 47 on the first night. But also because the Queen came. Yes, there was a wartime effort, and yes, Paintings like this could help support a cause. But there was uh, another cause underlying all of that, which was to show the cultural strength of Brazil. So the 1944 exhibition in London really brought together uh, some of the key uh, masters of modernism in Brazil at the time. People like uh, Cavacanti, like Portinari, like uh, Lazar Segal, Roberto Burle Marx. Well, I think people were intrigued at, at seeing paintings from Brazil, which probably they only associated with, as I say, with, with, with the tropics and sugar. And so to see that there was a very uh, interesting and varied modern paintings fascinated them. I think it's interesting to, uh, to realise also that the British public was expecting a, such, a, such an exhibition. They wanted bananas, oranges, uh, pineapples, they, they wanted Carmen Miranda. They didn't want the socialist realism that came out of someone like Portinari, for example. But that's what they got, and that was excellent art. I think this exhibition is a, is a very, very interesting and very early example of the way that exhibitions are deployed in a diplomatic and political context. And of course money was being raised for the RAF by the generous gesture of the Brazilian artists. I mean it is an extraordinary generous gesture. And so the, the, the significance of the exhibition far exceeds what it claimed to do, i.e. Uh, to raise funds for the RAF. The legacy at the time was that was public interest and that the exhibition did tour around the UK. But also the idea that artists involvement with the war effort was a collegial one and quite an understated one and one that's worth further exploration. We invite you all to join us in this conference.